Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I just want to start off by saying a very happy new year to everyone and kicking off the new year, I want to give you an introduction to my very first ultra wide video. On the back of that, I want to also do a review of my best gadget that I bought in 2018, which was the DJI Osmo Pocket and give you the best accessory that I bought for it up until now, which is the Freewell Osmo Pocket filters. So let's take a look. Right, so just kicking off, what exactly is the Freewell Osmo Pocket Filters? So essentially, when you go out on a hot sunny day, you go to maybe a hot destination with your SLR camera, you tend to buy a filter that you put on the lens to prevent UV rays from damaging your lens. It's similar with the Osmo Pocket, it is a lens and you do want to protect it from heat and also from very bright sun washed lens flares and that kind of stuff when you come out and view your videos. So. Freewell are an awesome company, they've got little filters that are magnetic that stick to the front of the, uh, the lens on this gimbal here and uh, they cover various different sun environments outdoors so if I just quickly show you so there's six in this box, they cover various different amounts of sunlight conditions outdoors if I quickly show you the box that it comes with it gives you an overview of all the different lenses that come with it and all of the uh, weather conditions on the best time to use those specific filters and it gives you an example of what type of weather environment outside you should use which specific filter so for example on cloudy days you should use the ND4 filter then on partly cloudy days you will use ND8 then on normal sunny days ND16 and it goes to 32 and 64 and you also have a neutral one that just reduces the glare in general. So I basically use this here in London in um, cloudy days and also partly sunny days as well. I haven't used the ND16 or 32 or 64 because we don't have such bright sunny days here in London, but what can you do? Um, but I'm gonna give you some sample footage of using these lenses before and after on the Osmo Pocket on cloudy days using the ND4 and on partly sunny days with a bit of cloud we're using ND8. Just to give you an example of the difference in the image and video quality that you get. So ultimately it basically reduces a couple of f-stops on the actual filter and uh, basically you can see a bit more sharpness, a little brighter colouring on the videos. Some of them might be a little bit subtle but ultimately it gives you a bit of a protection and a bit of a clearer image when you're seeing the videos after you've shot them. So right now I'm going to go through both of those different filters that I've used, give you some sample footage and I'll hopefully give you a review straight after. Don't need no 
no one else than each other You and me, you and me We could run Hey, what's up guys? So this is uh, the uh, selfie camera without the filter attached to it Hey, what's up guys? So I've got the filter attached to it So uh, hopefully you can see a little bit of the difference I've got the sun shining right at me Right, so I hope that gives you a clearer understanding of the capabilities of these filters. So for me, I found them, the, sometimes you might find them a little bit of a subtle difference in them, but actually overall when you are editing them after you've transferred them over to your laptop, you can see the, quite a bit of a difference on the editing as well. So adjusting the colors is unnecessary when you have the filters on because they come out really clear. Now, if I just show you an example, I'm just gonna pull one out here. Now they actually are very easy to connect to the actual gimbal as well and they're magnetic so you could uh, always um, make sure you use a cloth. This actually comes with a cleaning cloth as well in the case so it always keeps your filters clean and tidy so you're always visible at all times. And then all you have to do is basically just clip it, push it into place and it's magnetic. This doesn't actually get in the way of any of the gimbal movement so when I'm turning it on you'll see that it won't actually hit any of the bottom or the sides. There we go. So it looks like that. If I just show you there, looks pretty cool. And you also have the ones for the ultimate sunny days. So if I take this one off, literally just comes off. Put this one on. So if you use the ND32 or 64 filters, it actually comes with a rotating uh, bezel there for the filter. So that when you have your phone connected, you can actually see on the screen actually the difference of the ISO and the aperture and the brightness levels that you can adjust accordingly for that filter. This is mainly used on super bright, hot, sunny days where you just have a lot of glare coming through all of your videos. So you can adjust that level yourself on the filter as well. And it doesn't really fall off. You can literally put it into the actual carry case like this as well. It's so minimal, you won't even remember that you actually got a filter on it. So it's definitely recommended if you have the DJI Osmo Pocket, then I recommend you get some filters to protect the lens as well. The last thing you want is if you're on holiday, you're using this on uh, sunny destinations to have the lens damaged from too much UV rays or a lot of bright light and that kind of stuff. So although it gives you good protection, it gives you awesome footage as well. So ultimately, I've uh, started using this full time. Even on cloudy days, it will just make it a little bit better, even though it reduces the actual aperture a tiny bit, depending on the filter you use, I would definitely recommend it. So you can buy the four pack for around $70 and you can get the eight pack of filters for around $130. So I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can buy the free world gear and uh, do check them out. They are an awesome company and I do recommend this for everyone. So I hope that was useful guys. I hope you liked that review. If there's any other questions you'd like to ask, then please drop a comment below. I've got tons more reviews coming up for the Osmo Pocket and more accessory reviews for this in 2019. So I hope you subscribe so you won't miss that one. Other than that, I hope you liked the video and I will see you guys next time. Take care.